This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and here is a DM from Twitter about Marilyn Manson and the case. Now, this person here is going to stay completely anonymous. They don't even have a picture for their profile. And the reason I'm featuring this here is because I get similar ones all the time. I've been getting them since I started this case on this channel. Now, as you probably know, I'm covering Depp vs. Heard. So are a lot of channels about the same size as mine. And I'm sure they probably get similar messages like this. So I figured I'd finally address the message. So it says, Hey, I love that you are defending Johnny Depp. I definitely think he's a DV victim. But be careful with Marilyn Manson. It will take away from Johnny Depp. So in my personal case, I've got 2,000 videos on this channel, over 7 million views, 90% of which are about Johnny and how I think he's innocent. So this person has not taken a look at the views. They're just throwing this out there. How much Manson will take away from Johnny is not even visible as a dot. It's, it's nothing. Manson views, again, in my personal case, have been maybe, maybe... 1% or less of my views in like the last six months. I was in the Hollywood social scene in the 90s and frequented the Viper Room, which was Johnny's club. And I guess we just have to believe that and take it for a fact. I mean, probably most people don't lie, but I think most people exaggerate or most people claim something that's close enough to what they actually did. So probably in some way, shape or form, this person mingled inside the Hollywood scene, but I don't think they were like in the Hollywood scene. Gonna, you know, safely assume they weren't a big actor, producer, big time person who really got around. Maybe they got in and out of clubs for a little while. Maybe from where they were sitting, they could see some celebs or something like that. But I'm not gonna think that they were actually really closely in the Hollywood scene. If they were, they should know a channel this size and the platform I have is not going to make much of a difference as far as Marilyn Manson views taken away from Johnny views. JD would hand that $100 bill to the homeless after hours I've witnessed. Okay, that's nice. That's great. I don't know anyone in Hollywood that would not defend him. He's literally the kindest soul. But Marilyn Manson is not a good guy. The things he's done to people, people I know, not good. If you've noticed, very few people are coming to his defense. I'd move away from that story and focus on Johnny Depp. Now, this is really bad advice as far as content, which I won't get into because that's more of like a YouTube how-to video. But I will say, out of the points this person made, yeah, okay. Not too many people are defending Marilyn Manson, but there's no evidence. But... He's got that image people don't like to mingle with in the first place. When you've got 17 or 19 women coming out against him, it's more intimidating than just against Amber, who's like obviously not telling the truth. Although a lot of the Manson accusers have been debunked, had contradictions and things like that. But people haven't looked into it in quite the same way. I mean, the news about Amber Heard and Australia and the perjury is big news. A lot of people heard about that. The Manson stuff, you gotta dig for yourself and find out these contradictions these women are making. And I responded, minor in blue by the way, I've been clear, can't convict without evidence, I'll report on actual evidence soon as it's out, so far, zero. So that's what I say to everybody who sends me a similar message, hey, don't focus on Manson, you know, stick with Johnny, you're a good guy, Johnny's innocent, Manson isn't innocent, or that kind of thing. And I say, hey, send me the evidence. Got some evidence? Send it. I'll be happy to feature it, is my next line. And I will. Here's what I want. Police report, medical report, audio, video. That's what I want. And if you can't supply that, what am I going to say? Except, well, you know, I don't know, Marilyn Manson, hmm, maybe he did it. Nothing to say. And this person replies, I know, but Johnny Depp and Marilyn Manson are two totally different people. Johnny Depp has evidence of his innocence. With Marilyn Manson, it's his word against others and no evidence of innocence either. Innocent until proven guilty in the USA. You accuse, you prove is what I say. And that's the damn truth. 
Like, the burden of proof is on the person making the claim. You can't just automatically have evidence of innocence. What if somebody said, hey, that guy, John, entertainment hacker, he stole $100 from my house. Where's his evidence? He didn't steal $100. Mm, I don't know. I mean, you can't always produce evidence that you didn't do something if you're accused of something. And finally, I've been pretty clear. I've even said in my videos about Manson, hey, I don't feel the same way that I do about Johnny. With Johnny, I'm like 99.9999999% sure of it. With Marilyn Manson, more like 80-20. And again, anyone's got evidence. My email, my Twitter, right down there. But it's got to be real evidence. Not he wrote this in a book, he said this in an interview. That kind of lines up with what some of these women say. No, real actual evidence. And in the same way, Johnny's got the evidence. Audio, video, something tangible. Hey, witnesses are great. People sticking up for you is awesome. That's fine. But that is still their word. Like this person says here. People sticking up for you are still their word versus the word of the accuser. And if it's more than that, then that's called evidence. Anyway, went in a few circles here, but that's okay. As you guys can see, I've been thinking about this for a while. I get these messages all the time. Figured I'd respond. You guys... Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Pop culture. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't subscribe, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.